Okay, in this video we're just going to show how to hide some columns as well as put that into a macro. So we have a workbook already set up. We're going to go ahead and go to record macro under your developers tab. It's going to do hide column. And I'm just going to go on and hide, let's do I and J. Right click it once you have the column selected. Go on and select hide. And it's going to do stop recording. And let's go and look at the code here. Hide column, edit. Now down here we have our hide column macro. We selected columns I and J selected, and then selection that entire column that hidden equals true. I'm going to show you how to rewrite this. That way we don't have to we won't have to select the columns that we want to hide, and then we won't see the the on screen changes. And later on we'll talk about application that screen updating in a, in a later video. Make sure you look that up. It that's just a real quick way as to how to prevent the screen from showing you the events it works in the macro that way you just have a seamless transition from from when you start the macro and when it when it finishes so columns i dot j dot select let's go on to do this we're going to do sheets we're working with sheet one dot columns and let's just do i colon j dot entire column dot hidden equals true. Now I'm going to toggle back to our Excel environment. I'm going to run that macro, but before I do that, let me unhide those columns. Macros, and we're going to do hide columns. And we should see I and J disappeared. Let's hit run. And those columns have disappeared. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to our module. I'm going to change the hide into show. And all I'm going to do to make this a little bit different is change hidden to false. And we, when we run that same code, we'll have the columns now showing. I and J, here you go, they're back. This is a real quick, simple demonstration as to how to hide or show a column using the macros. And in a later video, I'm going to show how to hide columns based on a certain selection. So if a user was to select this range, B2, and select April 1st, 2011, I will give a demonstration as to how to hide every single column with the exception of that month in case you'd want to give the user that kind of an option. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching.